Hello, my name is Adam and I'm pre-sales consultant at Stormit. Stormit as an AWS Select Consulting Partner can help you make the most of what AWS Cloud has to offer. Today we will take a look at fairly simple AWS architecture with Amazon EC2, CloudFront CDN and Route 53 DNS together with Certificate Manager and how to create this architecture in AWS Management Console. Here is our architecture diagram. We have EC2 instance with our web application and dynamic content, in this case WordPress website, but it can be any type of web application that you want to share through CloudFront and Route 53. But it shouldn't be static because then we can use S3 bucket instead of EC2 instance and we already have a video about that on our channel, so see it if you need it. Then we have a CloudFront distribution and use our own domain name in root 53. And we will need to create a certificate in AWS Certificate Manager so we can communicate with our users using HTTPS protocol. The same will need to be created in our EC2 instance in WordPress in this example. But if you use any other web application, you will need to create the certificate on your side. So we are in the AWS Management Console and first thing I want to do is go to EC2 and let's see what I already have here. So I am going to my instances and I have one EC2 instance here for my as my web server for WordPress website. If I open my public IPv4 IP address, as you can see, it's a very simple website for some travel tips. It normally works. With, we have some blog here and everything. So basically, this is a dynamic website and we cannot share it through S3 bucket. So I will go back to AWS Management Console and we as a first thing, we need to create a certificate for our SSL encryption. So I will create a new certificate. But as you can see, right now I am in a Frankfurt region and we will only need a certificate in North Virginia region. It's because CloudFront doesn't work with any other region. So I will go to North Virginia region and request a certificate here. Okay, and it will be for, for my test domain. If you are using your own, you can just fill it in here. And it will be also for my www.cf domain. So like this, and I will click on request. And as you can see, the status here right now is pending validation. And it's because we have to validate this certificate by root 53. So as you can see here, I have uh, this hosted zone for my test 2022.cf already in root 53. So I will go just there and let's see. Okay, to hosted zones. And as you can see, I already have it here and we can use it. So if you don't have your hosted zone already in root 53, you can create it by clicking here and it's basically a very simple process. So it shouldn't take a long time. I will go back to AWS Certificate Manager and click on create records here. Create records and go back to my domain in root 53 and the new CNAME records have been created and it shouldn't take long. I think it could be done any second. So I will just go back and as you can see, it's issued and validated. So we can use this certificate and we can use it in our ground CloudFront distribution. So I will go to CloudFront and create our first distribution and we will need a EC2 domain name so I will just go to 
EC2, open it in a new tab. And we have to be in Europe Frankfurt region where I have my instance. And I will copy the public IPv4 DNS. You cannot use IPv4, this one. You have to use the domain name. So I will copy it here and just past it here and we can use the http only protocol for now it shouldn't be a problem and we can go to the viewer protocol policy we will select the direct http to https and because a because it's a dynamic web application we will use all HTTP methods here. We can disable caching in the default. We can then create another caching behavior for CloudFront. So we will use caching disabled and all viewer here under origin request policy. And here we have to choose our certificate. If you don't see your certificate here, I think you have just created in a wrong region. You have to create it in North Virginia region. I will just again write my domain name here for the CNAME record and www.samedomain.cf and I'm going to create this distribution. So I will click on create distribution. I will go back to my distribution and it could take a little bit of time till it's deployed. So I will wait and go back. After a couple of minutes, our CloudFront distribution is deployed. So we can use it. We can try to hit our domain name for CloudFront distribution. So I will open a new tab here and try to hit it and as you can see it's shown in a very strange way basically without JS and CSS files that's because we are using the domain name of CloudFront distribution and our certificate is for another domain and our connection is not fully secure so Chrome will not open this website with every aspect so js files and css files how to repair this we will create our root 53 record so for our real domain so i will go to root 53 and go to hosted zone and to my domain and i will create two records for www and without it so the first one will be just a simple domain like this and i will choose my new distribution and click at another record and this one will be with www and again it will be for alias record and my new distribution and i will click on create records so my new records are created. I click on view status and wait. And our root 53 records are in sync. So we can try to hit our domain, our real domain. So this one, I will try it. And as you can see, uh, it doesn't work as, as it should. That's because it's the same problem as for CloudFront, but here is a little bit different. Because our WordPress instance or your web application at this moment doesn't have a certificate for this domain name, Chrome will think that, that the last position in the architecture, which is EC2 instance, is not valid and you will need to install certificate there. I will do that myself on the WordPress using some plugins. I will add some example documentation to the description of this video. You can follow that yourself or if you use if you are using any other 
web application you will need to find the documentation for this i think if you add ssl or ssl certificate it will work fine for you too after a couple of minutes i have been able to create my ssl certificate on the ec2 instance so for my wordpress website i will just reload my website and as you can see everything is signed and ready the connection is secure so this was the manual for how to create the architecture with root 53 cloudfront and ec2 web ec2 web application i will go back to my presentation thank you for watching if you want to see more videos about aws services subscribe to our channel and like this video or if you want to learn more about other services visit our website and blog links are in the description below and if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact us